IT spells a lot more than it these days. Because IT stands for information technology, among the fastest growing industries not only in America, but around the world. One of the key players in the field of IT is the network administrator. He or she may work in a busy office, alone at home, commuting electronically to multiple clients, or somewhere in between. Network administrators are responsible for the increasingly important interdependence of computers. An organization might have a LAN, or local area network, or a WAN, a wide area network of work groups. Designing, installing, and supporting them is the network administrator's job. So is maintaining network segments, or an internet system, with which an organization relates to computers outside its own closed world. That I think is interesting to look at is the issue of reasoning, and I would include in that things like it might seem like you need a course in computer science even to explain these jobs, much less do them. Certainly, a network administrator's position often requires computer science training, either at a college or a technical school. This is a field where intelligence and ability cuts through tradition, however, so some independents break through the ranks without formal training. Network administrators and the related occupations, computer scientists and computer engineers, enjoy a wide range of opportunities. As this field continues to expand into all types of businesses, government agencies, and academic research.